In other news today, a one year old child is recovering after being held hostage inside a burning bedroom. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says the father set the fire while holding his child by knife point earlier this morning. Terrifying situation tonight. Dual investigations are underway with the sheriff, uh, the sheriff's office and Sacramento Metro Fire. KCRA 3's Michelle Bandour has the latest. Firefighters know they have to act fast. Inside the burning building is a helpless one year old child. The mother was distraught. Um, she was saying my baby's in there, my baby's in there. The mother so distraught, medics wheeled her away on a stretcher. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department says the father barricaded himself inside, set the fire and held his child by knife point. The complex is on Madison Avenue between Roseville Road and I-80. The flames too intense to go in the downstairs apartment below, so firefighters had to attack from the roof, as you can see from the firefighter's helmet camera. There's holes in the ceiling um, everywhere. Firefighters burst in through this woman's roof to rescue the child. My family all ran downstairs. I was the last one out. A lot of people are displaced because of what he did, and, and not to mention, you know, he, he hurt his, you know, newborn child. I mean, why? They're all dented up and trashed. And Tommy McNeil is one of more than half a dozen residents now forced to move out with heavy water and smoke damage and electricity turned off. The roof caved right in McNeil's kitchen. See? Dina Safford is counting on friends to help her and hopes the child is going to be okay. I don't want to have to be displaced, but if that's the case, um, it's a milestone compared to what that family have to go through. Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. Thank goodness the child is in stable condition. The father is also hospitalized and is expected to be taken into custody once he is released from the hospital.